I consider myself to be a straight shooter. Let me be straight as an arrow with you on this one. Cleaning is not fun. When I read your comments, a lot of you guys lament that you have trouble getting started and how do you make cleaning more interesting or exciting, Melissa? So this week, I'm gonna share with you some great tips and tricks that you can try to make cleaning at least a little bit more fun. And before we get into the fun, if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. Start with ear candy. First of all, it is calorie free, so of course you want some of that, but listening to something while you're cleaning really gets you moving, whether it's music or podcasts, which I happen to be obsessed with. And I found out that many of you actually stream our videos to motivate you while you're cleaning. So as long as you're doing something that's interesting to your ears while you're cleaning, you're probably in good shape. If you find cleaning to be overwhelming, something you can try is to make a list of all the tasks that you have to have done. This will help you not only feel less overwhelmed, but it will also give you that insatiable satisfaction of checking something or scratching something off a list. I certainly won't sit here in a bikini and show you a before and after photo of what cleaning can do to your body, but I will tell you, you can burn calories while you're cleaning. Get this, you can burn up to 100 calories an hour by just doing light duty cleaning, like unloading a dishwasher, dusting, and if you do heavy duty cleaning, like scrubbing, mopping, that kind of stuff, you can burn up to 200 calories an hour. Whatever you do, you will see, you are moving, you are walking, you are burning, and if you really want to amp it up, you can wear wrist weights and ankle weights. So basically, if you clean, you're gonna have a beach body. If you're a competitive person by nature, why not become the next Usain Bolt of cleaning? All you need to do is record your time each time you clean, assuming you're cleaning the same general vicinity, and see if you can beat the time that you did the last time you cleaned. Not only will you be spending less time cleaning, which is the goal, but you'll also be better at the cleaning task at hand because you'll be teaching yourself how to be more efficient. Here's one from my childhood, kind of nerdy, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. <laughs> my mom and I used to have like a cleaning cooking show, so we used to pretend that we were being filmed while we were cleaning and we would talk to the camera and tell the camera what we were doing even though there was no camera. Anyway, it passed the time and that's all that matters. There's nothing less motivating about cleaning than using crappy tools and products that don't work and products that smell bad. So what you can do is find stuff that's cute and fun or attractive to whatever suits you, stuff that smells great or of course make your own recipes with your own scents, and of course tools that work really well. That is going to make all the difference and will at least get you more motivated and interested in cleaning. Clean with somebody or something else present in the room, whether it's your friend, a family member, a child, or even a pet. I mean, cats and dogs especially love vacuuming. Whether it's conversation or frankly, just the sheer presence of another human or animal in the room really does help pass the time. Remember to take breaks. It's important to give yourself, your mind, and your body a little bit of time to pause in between between those heavy duty cleaning marathons. Set your time, whatever it is, every 10, 15 minutes, take a five minute break. Whatever it is to get your brain off cleaning will help you get your brain back into cleaning a lot quicker. Because we have so many creative cats in the Clean My Space Nation, we recently reached out on Facebook and Instagram to find out what some of you guys do to make cleaning more fun. And the answers were so great, I just have to share them with you. So I have them here on my iPad and I'm gonna start reading. Lisa B says, a good audiobook does it for me. Tracy D says, I have have vodka and laundry night. Shauna D says she has two minions, a seven-year-old and a 12-year-old, who help her doing laundry and folding socks. Julie Kane, have someone else do it. Anne O says she listens to NPR. Bunny XO says wine for sure. That Sour Home says turn up the 90s tunes. TJJ says gotta be music that makes me wanna dance so I'll get moving. Athena Sanders says she puts on a classic Disney movie or a musical because she likes to sing along. That's a cool idea. HMC Dancer 2016 says, I give myself a reward for cleaning up my room. I got to agree, rewards are a good thing. All right, CMS Nation, now it is your turn to let us know in the comments down below what you do to make cleaning more fun. I mean, we all know it's not the most fun thing, but I'm sure you guys have come up with some great strategies and I'd love to hear all about them. If you want to see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from convincing myself that cleaning is 
somewhat interesting. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat using the handle at Melissa Maker. The guy who seriously finds cleaning fun, he is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And because we've had some pretty fun videos lately, I want to send you back in time to watch our 10 common cleaning mistakes video and to watch our living with a messy person and how to deal with them video, which can also be applied to living with a neat person. You just got to use some reverse psychology. Hope you guys enjoy those two videos. Remember to visit our website, cleanmyspace.com. You can learn more about our microfiber cloths coming soon, second order at maker clean.com. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week.